Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at the Croatian Police Museum in Zagreb, Croatia, taking a look at some of the cool guns from the Croatian Homeland War that they have in their collection. And today we have a Max MACS M2 50 caliber single shot anti-material rifle. Now this is a rifle whose development began, as did most, fire, most recent firearms in Croatia, in 1991. That's the date when Croatia was invaded by Serbia, they didn't have much in the way of military force, and they basically started a crash program to both import and manufacture firearms. Now, these weren't really in the field until something like 1994, but their development began essentially when the Homeland War began. Now this is a, the, the gun was developed, designed by a guy named Jankovic, uh, in the town of Rijeka. His company was called Torpedo, and they made actually a line of bolt-action rifles. I said this was the M2. Their M1 was actually a really interesting sounding gun, a Yugoslav M48 Mauser with the barrel cut down and perforated for an integral suppressor. Um, I don't have one of those here to show you. Perhaps another day we'll do a video on one of those. This was the M2, developed as an anti-material rifle during the war, single shot 50 caliber BMG, so 50 Browning, 12 by 99 millimeter. They followed this up with an M3 design that was a bullpup version of this, and then an M4 that is a magazine-fed repeating bolt-action 50 caliber rifle. And the M4 is actually still available for sale commercially today. But let's go back and take a look at the M2 here, because this is the one that actually served in the wars in Croatia. The fundamental basics here are that this is a bolt-action single shot, so uh, have a nice short bolt throw on it, or bolt rotation. There is a bolt release button right here. Push that in and pull the bolt out. Ugh. This thing's heavy, by the way. This comes in at about 12 kilos, about 28 pounds. Um, there's our bolt, three sets of differently sized locking lugs, so it's impossible to set the bolt head up in the wrong orientation. It's got a plunger ejector on it there. Uh, pretty simple, you know, straightforward, single shot only. The action is set in an aluminum, what appears to be a cast aluminum chassis. So uh, this, the pistol grip, and the stock itself, the stock section, is all metal. Most of it is hollow to reduce weight a bit. There's a nice squishy butt pad on the back. And then the cheek rest here is actually wood attached by two screws onto the stock strut. These were originally issued with Collis 10 power optics, although we don't have the optic on this one anymore. And the only marking on this is, or right there, a serial number, which by the way is not reflective of the total production. They did not make 193,000 of these, not even remotely close. So I have no idea what the, uh, the idea behind that specific serial number is, if it's encoded in some way. Um, Actually, it is possible. These were in production from 1993 until 1995. It is possible that the 93 there is a date, and this is number 37 in production, but I'm just speculating on that. Notice that the bottom of the, the stock chassis here is also hollow. You can see the barrel up there. And then there is a stud on the front for a standard precision rifle sort of bipod. This is a Parker Hale bipod on it. And these were fitted with a pretty big, chunky, effective muzzle brake. Not a bad idea to have on a 50 caliber rifle. All right, now if I'm going to be totally honest, the trigger pull on this rifle is terrifyingly light. It is a single stage trigger with basically no take up. Boop, right there. So actually, tiny bit of travel, but Really, really light. Um, it'd be a little nerve-wracking to use, at least for me. Um, but that helps you make precise shots as long as you don't accidentally fire it early. We don't know exactly how many of these were made. It's probably in the hundreds. Um, they are no longer used by the Croatian army. Some of them were sold as surplus, um, and they're no longer manufactured today. So um, in particular, these were uh, in fact used by a detachment of snipers during Operation Storm, the major Croatian offensive in the summer of 1995, and they performed well 
in that service. So a big thanks to the Croatian Police Museum for giving me the opportunity to take a look at this one and show it to you guys. If you're ever in Zagreb and have some time to spare, definitely consider stopping by the museum. There's some pretty cool stuff on display. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.